Hi guys, it's me again, Philandro. Welcome to my channel! Hello to my subscribers! Welcome back to 17 Reaction Series! <laughs> hello, I'm back! If you're new here, hello, hello, hello! I am doing a bunch of Seventeen reaction videos and since there are a lot of songs from them, I decided to make it a series as well. So if you want to go ahead and binge watch my videos, please visit my channel. Thank you. Very. Much. How are you guys? I missed you. <laughs> I hope everything is okay with you. I hope your family is healthy. I hope you are healthy. Okay? Okay. So as we continue with this series, uh, by the way, last time, I reacted to... Yeah, three songs. Three songs. <laughs> so that was, um, I didn't realize that th those were like, uh, those three songs are each for the units. What am I saying? Those three songs are for the, the units that they, that the group was divided into. So that was um, Same Dream, Same Mind, Same Night, Game Boy, and Way. Yeah, and if you haven't watched that, if you haven't, you know, watch my reaction to that. I'm gonna leave the link down below. It was so much fun. I really, really loved that one. Um, the fact that each album has, you know, songs that um, is designated for each unit. That was a brilliant, brilliant, bleh, brilliant idea. And I know, and I, yeah, I know that this group is so talented. So enjoy my reaction <laughs> so okay guys i'm so excited because i know i mentioned from from that upload that i'm going to start reacting reacting to the very first album that they did because you know i i want to like i am very very curious on how they started how the sound how the sound of their album is and you know i i also want to see their very cute faces because you know they debuted on last 2015 right and you know i i want I wanted to like um, watch them grow, not only like physically, <laughs> but most especially musically. So I really, really, I am really, really curious, um, you know, how they do their music because I know they produce their own music. They are very, very much involved in everything, choreography, production, and everything. So today I am going to react to "Adore You," their very, very, their debut song. And um, as well as their dance practice for that um, song. And I am also going to include one B side track from their very first album, 17 Carat, which is 20. So, yeah, I'm doing like two songs in one reaction videos. One reaction video because um, there are a lot of songs and I really, really need to catch up because I've been very, very busy the past few days. And, you know, I have really, I had this excitement. I, I mentioned this in my 2 p.m. reaction video. I am very, very excited to listen to all of the songs. And I can't just listen and watch without, you know, recording my reaction. So we are here right now. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, do, 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 do. <laughs> let's watch the MV for Adore You first, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm so excited. So this is the music video for Adore You. And since there is there's no English subtitle for this video. I'm just going to enjoy the music and watch the video and I'm going to look up the lyrics later and we'll talk about the music, okay? And the, the lyrics, I mean, so here we go. Ah, this is not functioning well. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Yes. Yep. Uh -huh. You know what? Oh, I love the bass. Oh my god! Oh, the bass! Adorable, oh my gosh! <gasps> I'm excited to watch the dance practice video, so let's just go ahead and watch it, okay? This sound is so, so... So it's it's a bit different from yeah, let's later. I can't with these neighbors. They are so like uh noisy anyway. Let's go. This is dance practice adore you fixed cam version. Okay, let's go. I'm so excited. Oh 115 AM? Okay, 준비됐어요? 준비됐어요? 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. What's that? Uh, you know what? Ooh, I love this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, it's great. <laughs> I love the jumping. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so good. Oh, I love that. Yes! Yes, the base! Oh my god! Ooh, I love that! Ah! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> I love the jumping part! <laughs> Oh my gosh, this song is so good! Oh, oh yes! They're so effortless, yes! Yes! Ooh, oh, that is so smooth! Yes, they're so good! Ah! Oh, yes, I love the harmony! Oh, I love that part! That. <laughs> <laughs> 2.30 a.m. Are you kidding me? Oh, that hair. Humble beginnings, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, why is that? I, I can't believe I almost cried. Oh, it's just so good to, like, you know, witness those humble beginnings after a very, very, like, enjoyable and tiring rehearsal at 2 30 a.m. and that just that little little burger or sandwich or whatever it's just like a rewarding experience after like 
sweating out and doing your best. Oh wow. And look at them now. They are so successful and they're they are loved by many, 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 many carrots. Oh, I love that. God, I love this group so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's talk about the song. Okay, so I I looked up I looked the lyrics up and basically it's just um about adoring somebody and just like you know there is a line there that says uh, I am on fire because of you and it's just basically like um admiring somebody and like I think it's just a love letter for someone that you love and I and I think S Scoops and Hoshi are one of those writers the lyricists of the song and yeah of course it's expected Wow, I really love this part of the song. <laughs> that snare drum. Oh, I love that. And I love the the sound is so different. You know, they started with a funk and I love the bass. I love bass guitar, you know, um the, that bass line and you can really hear the, the slapping of the bass. And it kind of like, it's like, I think it's a, mis a mixture of like a funk sound and like alternative rock. I don't know. But you can, I can hear like the, the snare drums and the bass. It's so like, you know, domin the, the bass line and the snare were dominating on that song. And of course, their choreography. Oh my gosh. Especially during this part, the first part. <laughs> Yeah, and when when they all of them were like on the floor and tap 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 tap. I remember Britney Spears choreography as well. Tap tap tap. Yeah, I really love that. And oh my gosh, you guys, you know I I always like I've mentioned this one before that um it really amazes me of how a, a certain K-pop group is so synchronized when it comes to dance practices and choreographies because that just shows that not only they are so skillful and talented in dancing they are so disciplined because it, it takes it's not that easy to be that synchronized yes and you have to have like one mind one one body and you know you really have to like do some relentless practices for that to, to achieve that kind of synchronization Ah, oh, that was so amazing. And you know, it still amazes me that the, again, I'll, I will always say this, that, okay, that was our curfew. <laughs> See the curfew? So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Anyway, so the, the, the group is divided into three units. And in spite of those, um, you know, um, their, their specialties, like the vocals, the rap, the, the rappers and the performance, the dance, uh, the, the main dancers, all of them, when they perform, as a whole it's so amazing to watch and you know you really can't like determine who's the who's the main vocals who are the rappers and whatever because all of them just perform so well and that's just so like um impressive in my opinion and oh it's just so good like the last part where they like when they finally ended the dance practice and then there were like sandwiches in front of them like were, the, were those like burgers or something and it's just little coke cans and um i really like my heart melts when it comes to like showing me those humble beginnings of some certain groups or not even groups or like as a whole when when somebody is successful or a company is successful or a k-pop group or whoever an artist is, is successful whenever they show me clips of the humble beginnings it's it always touches my heart because you know i always love people who are you know humble <laughs> that that smile on their faces when they <laughs> saw the, the sandwiches and they were like enjoying and then i know it were i can just imagine the you know the it's 2 30 a.m for heaven's sake and they're they're still laughing and they're and they're like laughing and they're enjoying each other's company because it, they're doing what they love and they're with the people that they love and Oh, I really, really love that one. Oh, that was so good. And yes, like I said, it's so interesting to know that they have, they started with this kind of sound, like a funk 
sound. But like I said, I really, I am really, really curious on how they evolve as musicians. You know, that was really good, you guys. I'm so excited to listen to the rest of the songs. And so, without further ado, do 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 do. Yes, let's listen to twenty. I will listen to One Piece side track today because I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. So this is from the vocal unit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Since I saw a thumbnail of the live performance from all the K-pop channel, let's go ahead and listen to the lyrics first and read the lyrics first and listen to the song. And then we will go ahead and watch the live performance. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yes, I'm fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, the shift of the voice. Oh. Oh, I thought somebody's gonna rap. Yeah, so fun. You know what song reminds me of? Later. Yes. I love Sun Kwan's quality. Let's you can later. Here we go. I know that you know what I feel so too. Everything will be alright. I'll take you next to you. <laughs> right? Like a mashup or something. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, DK. I love Uzi's picture in this video. Oh, the chest! From chest to falsetto. Yes! Who's doing the high note? <laughs> oh, that's it. It ended like. Oh, yes, that was so much fun. Yeah, the chorus reminded me of 22 from Taylor Swift. So it, it, it could be like a very, very good uh, a mashup, would be amazing. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and listen to the live performance. Oh, this is live, you guys. This is live, this is live, this is live. Let's go. Oh! Acoustic version. And it, it's in the lower key. Oh my gosh! Oh, you're 
Oh my gosh, I can only remember DK, Sun Quan's, and Woozy's. Okay, so my <laughs> the recording stopped and I paused the video because you know the memory got my memory card got full and then I deleted some videos and let's continue, let's go. other when they do a Totally, I am totally, I am totally. I am in love with this group, you guys. I mean, I wasn't prepared. I, I was like, I was in shock. Like, I didn't expect, like, I thought it's like gonna be a, a, the same version of the song that we just listened earlier for 20. Um, I didn't think that they would perform like a acoustic version of this, of the, of this one. And it just shows like their vulnerability and another side from them because when you like 
in my opinion, when you like my, your first impression when it comes to Seventeen, especially with their title, most of the title tracks, you uh, this side of them, the acoustic side and the vocal side, doesn't really like come into your mind immediately. And you know, there there are there are times that you can like categorize them right away that they're only good with hip hop they're only good with like you know dances and synchronization of you know whatever blah 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 but it's so amazing that they have this you know group the vocal unit because it's like again i've mentioned this before it's like um like watching and listening to a different group i love this group i i don't i don't know what to say oh my gosh and i think um was that Jong Han with the the one with the pink hair, right? I'm not sure, but I think that was Jong Han. And there there was a part like uh, when he did the the that high note part, and he was trying to like um, use his chest voice, and it ended up being like having that raspy voice. This part. I want you. I, I'm not saying that uh, he messed that up, but that, that was actually really, really cute because I can tell by his expression that after hitting that note, I can like see in his face like, uh-oh, what was that? Something like that. And that's why, uh, if you notice, I I said like, don't worry, baby, you didn't mess up because that was, that, that, what, that was still okay because I don't know what happened with his voice during that part because it became like raspy or whatever, but I... At least he still hit the note. It wasn't like flat or sharp or whatever, but that was still okay. But I just noticed his face, like just there's a little you know, like uh oh moment <laughs> during that part. But yeah, that was that was really cute. And I love that when they harmonize to each other, like when two of them are you know singing at the same time. I love that they look at each other. <laughs> Especially when like DK was like you know looking at Sun Quan. I that was that Sun Quan the the one on the left side the the blonde hair. I know Wuzi was in the middle and the one beside DK was that Sun Quan right? I don't know. And Joshua was on the right side and it was um, Joshua, Joshua Jung Han Wuzi. DK and Sun Quan. I think so. Let me know, guys, if I'm correct. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I love that they look at each other and then, you know, because um, I used to sing like in an a cappella group uh, before in our church, college days. And that actually helps when you look at the person you're singing to and when, you, when the part of the song, you know that you have somebody who will sing with you and it's either uh, they harmonize with you or you're the one who is harmonizing to that person during that part it's always it it always helps when you look at it's each other and you know just like um connect and just look into each other's eyes and like you know yeah i really i really can relate that part not only with dk and sun kwan um also with jong jong han and joshua i think and oh i love this chorus part Yeah, I really love their harmony. Um, I wonder who's singing the lower the lower octave of the chorus because that sounded really, really good. And again, this group really impresses me because yeah, they really are musicians. They they know what they're doing, they are so talented. It's not obvious because there are singers, there are K-pop singer, there are K there are K-pop idols that you know you can tell by their vocal performance or their vocal skills that they were really trained and i can tell i can i know some k-pop idols that when whenever they sing live you can really tell that they're not really born singers they were just really really trained well that's why they can hit notes and stuff but they don't really have that harmony harmonization skills or that you know vocal agility skills or that running note skills but with this group you, you can really tell that they are really really singers because they can harmonize they can they know how to listen to each other and again that amazes me that they belong to 17 and if if you don't like if you listen to this song for the first time and you don't know anything about 17 you can just tell that this is this is a different group and you can like you know give them another name because 
this is such a I I can't express it in exact words, but Seventeen is just so impressive, and I love this group. And thank you so much for supporting me <laughs> in loving this group because I am so excited to listen to the rest of their songs. That I am it genuinely like gives me that excitement and fire to really listen to the rest of, and to really explore their you know their songs because I know there are different styles in all of the albums and I'm so excited and so thank you so much you guys for you know listening to it with me and for um, being with me in this 17 journey oh my gosh I did I did not regret watching a 17 music video and I did not regret creating this series because oh this is just one of my one of the top groups in my opinion and you know it because my top groups uh, for now, I can't really tell, but yeah, I, I will include Seventeen in one of my top K-pop groups. Yeah, so I said it officially. I love this group. They are so talented. They are so cute. <laughs> okay, so that's it for now for Seventeen series. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching it with me and for reacting to it with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you guys. And to those of you who are new here, thank you so much for spending your time in watching my video. And if you like that, don't forget to share it to your friends and to our fellow Karens, okay? And don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on IG and Twitter at Akophil, that's A-K-O-P-H-I-L. Alright, so expect more Seventeen content from me, that's for sure. Yes, because I'm so excited. And have a nice day ahead, have a great day ahead. Do what you gotta do for the day, you can do it. And if you're in the middle of your day and you're having a bad one, Go to YouTube, search for 17 reaction videos, look for this face, Phil Andrew, and watch my videos. I hope I can make you laugh or smile at least. And if you just ended your day and you're very, very, very tired, relax my friend, pat yourself on the back, you did a good job today. It's just another day. And watch my videos! Again, thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. I love you all. Bye-bye.